The Little Rabbit, story by Judy Dunn, and photographs by Fabio Dunn. On Easter, Sarah found a little rabbit in her Easter basket. The little rabbit was soft and white. She had bright pink eyes, long ears that were pink inside, and a tiny pink nose that was always wiggling. Sarah loved her new friend very much. Sarah let her little rabbit play in the grass while she tried to think of just the right name for her. There were some tiny yellow flowers nearby called buttercups. That's a nice name, said Sarah to her little friend. I'll call you Buttercup, too. Sarah took good care of Buttercup. Every day she visited the new red hutch, bringing food, pellets, and fresh water. Then she watched Buttercup eat and drink. Sarah's other friends loved Buttercup, too. After school, they'd hurry over to Sarah's house and play with the little rabbit. Buttercup was always happy to be the center of attraction. All the children wished that they had rabbits of their own. One afternoon, Sarah took Buttercup out to the meadow and fell asleep, but Buttercup did not want to sleep. She was soon hopping off to meet new friends. First she came up to a slow-moving turtle. Then she met a beautiful orange and black butterfly. There was so much to see and do out in the world. But what was that? Buttercup was startled by something moving in the ferns. It was another rabbit. The other rabbit was a wild rabbit. It was quite different from Buttercup. He had large brown eyes, brown fur that helped him hide from his enemies. The two rabbits watched each other for a long time. Then they hopped away. Buttercup was hungry, so she nibbled some grass near the rutabaga patch. Suddenly it began to rain. She ran for cover and got stuck between two stalks. Then she sat and watched the rain. She felt very small and very lonely. When Sarah woke up, she searched all over for Buttercup and finally found her. Sarah and Buttercup went everywhere together. Sometimes they went on picnics in the woods. Sarah always brought along a carrot for Buttercup. Sarah was very proud of her rabbit. Over the next few months, Buttercup grew bigger and bigger. Soon she was ready to have babies of her own. Sarah put a nesting box filled with clean straw in her hutch. Buttercup pulled fur from her coat to make a soft, warm nest for her babies. Then she waited. Sarah visited the hutch often, but nothing happened. Then one morning, Sarah looked into the hutch and saw seven baby rabbits in the nest. Oh, Buttercup, she said, you're a mother. Sarah was so happy to see the babies. The babies grew fast. Soon they were big enough to climb out of the nesting box and look around. They were lively and curious and soft and white as their mother. So Sarah had to think of names for all of them. Since there were seven bunny rabbits, Sarah decided to name them after the seven days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Soon the little rabbits were big enough to go outside. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday stayed in Sarah's lap. But the others jumped out. Wednesday sat under the daffodils. Thursday sniffed violets. Friday hopped through the grass. Little Saturday went further than her brothers and sisters. Soon she found herself in a sea of tiny blue flowers. There were flowers everywhere. Saturday stopped right where she was because she didn't know what else to do. She was lost. 
but Sarah soon found her. It was time for the rabbits to go home. Sarah couldn't get them all back by herself, so she called her father. Together, they collected the little rabbits and put them back into the hutch with Buttercup. Sarah, said her father, there are just too many rabbits, and they're getting bigger every day. It's time you found homes for Buttercup's babies. Sarah wanted to keep them all, but she knew her father was right. There were too many rabbits, and the hutch was crowded. So the next day, Sarah offered one or two of Buttercup's babies to each of her friends. Monday went to Kate. Billy chose Tuesday for his pet. Wednesday and Thursday rode home in Jeff's bicycle basket. By the end of the day, all of Buttercup's babies had new homes, and Sarah's friends were proud to have rabbits of their own. Sarah and Buttercup were happy to be alone together, just as they were in the beginning. I love you, Buttercup, said Sarah, as she stroked her rabbit's soft white fur. But Buttercup just wiggled her pink nose.